One thing a family member of yours told me last Sunday night at dinner <gasps> yes. was about citizenportal.ai. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new thing from the co-founder of Microsoft, Paul Allen. Whoa, okay. And I guess it's it uses AI to somehow obtain and sort um, videos of every single city council meeting in your state. And That's you can brilliant. get you can get that for free or for a subscription. Another subscription. Right, go nationwide. But if you are so civically minded mm -hmm. that you want to watch every city council meeting, mm -hmm. and the way your the the way your relative framed it to me was so you can see what idiots they are. Sorry, right. Idaho Falls City Council, just reporting what was said. Right. Um, I personally don't have the time, the wherewithal, the desire. I mean, if I were to if I were to watch every city council meeting, I might as well join the city council. Yeah, at that point. You know, also not going to happen. Yeah. But <laughs> but uh, if you're into that sort of thing, and mm -hmm. I know, I imagine most people listen to us for the opposite, right, of a city council meeting. Yeah, I think so. But I bet we have some crossover, and so if you're into that sort of thing. Citizenportal.ai, really easy to sign up. Yeah. To be fair, I think that our folks are here for less info, more attainment. Yes. <laughs> and again, when you sign up, you sign up for the whole state. So you can get all the Boise oh, cool. stuff and or Lewiston stuff, Coeur d'Alene, whatever you're into. Oh, nice. Nice. That's smart. That's a good way to do it. You know, and that's the thing. I actually really, I find uh, politics and like, you know, the, philosoph the philosophy around it pretty fascinating overall. But realistically, like... Life is hard right now. <laughs> right. I can't invest any more emotional energy into politics because it's our, all of my emotional energy is being used on things to keep me alive and to like help people at my job. Like it's so focused that I can't expand outside of this very, very small epicenter. Well, and I never want to become one of those dudes. And I've, you know, when you get to about my age, some of your friends decide to go this route. Right. That they just get so upset all the time. They're always so angry. Mm -hmm. And and they want to shake me and say, how come you're not? Right. Because, because I don't, I don't, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm, well, then you, then, then your eyes are closed. Yeah, are they? It's I'm, not about your eyes being, being closed. It's about the fact that you have so much more to deal with. I'm interested in other stuff. Yeah. You know, there's that, what's the serenity prayer? Grant God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Right, right. And politics is one of those things. Mm -hmm. The courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference is mm -hmm. the rest of that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do think it's important to be involved in your local and, you know, countrywide politics when you can. Sure. And also, at the end of the day, if you're sacrificing your own mental or physical health to do so... Don't do it, dude. Very well said. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Old men that get angry on the sidelines, but still do nothing. I just, I, I feel bad for them. Well, and to be fair, there's not a lot they can do. And they, you know, they say the, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the world's always been going to hell in a handbasket. Right. We always pendulum back and forth. Exactly. You know? So... I, I'm not convinced. Yeah. It's not going down. It's just going this way and then that way and then that way again. We swing yeah. from conservative to liberal mm -hmm. to the point earlier about Meredith Brooks bitch versus right. Beyonce <laughs> Texas Hold'em. Honestly, maybe those guys should have like a daughter named Helena. <laughs> then they M Middle name <laughs> handbasket. <laughs> well, I was thinking then they could put her in a handbasket and do one of those like uh, photo shoots, like that one photographer. that And get us. Yes. Yeah. With the babies and the vegetables and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, I feel like that would be a, a nice way for them to sort of yeah. reframe Hell in a Handbasket for them. Perfection. Yeah, it's Love cute. It. Speaking of AI, did you hear last week that Google AI was too woke, I guess, meaning that you would ask their, and I forget the name of the app, uh -huh. but you would ask the app to, and I don't know where people are finding these really cool apps where you uh -huh. describe what you want to see and then it shows you the picture oh like have you seen the I've horse girl a one few of them no uh, uh oh i i think it was a tiktok or something that i saw but someone went to one of those apps and they did one they were like uh show me a picture of a horse girl you know and it was like a girl in her room with lots of horse dolls and stuff and 
then they were like, okay, add more horses and make her even happier. And they kept doing that and doing that and doing that until it was this like cosmic wormhole of horses. <laughs> I saw that with Show Me a Utah Family. Yes. Blonde haired, blue eyes. I saw that one too. Husband, wife, two kids. Uh-huh. And then they said, make it bigger, more smiling. Yeah. And by the end, they were like 200 people. Right. Giant mountains in the background. <laughs> yeah. All wearing white shirts and and. And khakis. Light brown khakis. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I remember that one. <laughs> so I guess people were typing in, you know, paint me a, show me a drawing of the founding fathers. But they were like, um, there were women and uh-huh. there were minorities oh. in in the picture. Oh, interesting. So it was, it's so now, you know, honestly, America, and I, there was a comedian that did a bit on this and I don't remember who, but America is the only diverse country. Watch the Olympics. When the Chinese team comes on to play, who do you see? Chinese people. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say America's the only one. I There's Canada uh, and Australia and Britain. And the UK, sure. But, but, um, but it's just so funny actually, because- uh, South Africa, too. They put so much of an emphasis on diversity that mm-hmm. they're no longer being historically accurate. And I get things like Bridgerton okay, wait. and Hamilton- I was going to say, I but, wonder if AI was looking at <laughs> Hamilton, dude. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, so they've actually pulled it. Okay. But I had the same sort of experience playing with the new Microsoft Copilot app. Okay, but really quick, before you go there, yeah. I kind of wonder if Lucy's used that same app to make the sexy Ben Franklin that's now on their boxes for some reason. Okay, so first of all, love Lucy's. <laughs> right. Love the um, fried mutts appetizer, which is basically just a giant breaded block of mozzarella. So good. Melted. I'm, I want some right now. We have right more now. of that? Because if we do. We do. Okay, hot. It's in the fridge with the oh, marinara. And you know what? I've got some tomato soup. I'm just saying, let's make a nice little marriage out of that. But Lucy's has a sexy Ben Franklin pizza <laughs> box. First of all, Ben Franklin, I associate more with Philadelphia. Right. But, and, and Lucy's is New York style pizza. Yeah, yeah. But to be fair, Benny Boy did pull plenty of ladies. <laughs> did he? Oh, like he was really well known for cheating on his wife like all the time. It was the electricity, I'm sure. Yeah, it's gotta the, be. <laughs> they all wanted to get with poor Richard and his almanac. <laughs> wow. It's gotta be it. <laughs> 